Greetings, my healers. This is Nick Kentil, and welcome back to Pokemon Academy Life Forever. Now, it's Monday morning, and as you see, we left off with Red all dressed up in his Kobukan Academy in his dorm. And there are computers and, and mugs and writing utensils set up on the desks. So, let's get on with it, shall we? It's finally the first day of classes. I spent the weekend getting to know this place so I shouldn't get lost again. Yeah, Monday means that it's the first day of classes. whoop de fucking do Who even likes more Monday mornings and first days of classes? I'm getting goosebumps. Let's do this. Can I see them, Red? No, well, that's okay. You don't have to. Ready, get, ready to get some breakfast? Yeah, never skip breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. I'm pretty sure I read a headline somewhere that, that said that was Miss Info by Big Breakfast. We're heading to the main cafeteria? You got it. Took the words, words right out of my mouth, Lightning. Again. Oh, can Lightning come with us? I went ahead and checked with the front desk yesterday, and they said Pokemon must remain when their rooms are in a Pokeball outside of the room unless authorized by the Academy. So I guess we can bring him as long as he stays in his Pokeball? Not sure he'll go for that. Uh, he's offended. Perhaps not, then. Yeah, some Pokemon just don't like to spend time in their Pokeballs. I tried putting my Pichu back home in a luxury ball, you know? Thought it'd be cozier. Didn't do anything, and cost me a good chunk of change, too. Aw, oh, poor Ethan, losing his money because his Pichu didn't want to go to into her Pokeball. <coughs> Excuse me. Dudes, that's actually pretty dope. It's like you've got a rogue Pokemon or something. It's odd. I've never heard of a Pokemon that exhibits that sort of behavior before today, and I've heard of two. Maybe it has something to do with their evolutionary line? Pichu evolves into Pikachu after all. Whoa, it does? I thought it was a plus and minus situation where they're symbiotic but don't evolve. Then it'll really blow your mind when I tell you about Raichu. Yes, Calum, you mentioned my favorite Pokemon. Thank you so much. Sorry, Lightning, but you're gonna have to stay here until I get back. Unless you want to come along in your Pokeball? He's offended again. Alright, suit yourself. There's some food in my drawer, but don't eat all of it at once. We'll be back after classes are over. And don't sneak out and follow me, got that? Pika Pikachu! Uh oh, Hilbert's up. So yeah, I, I've wanted to mention this. If you've seen the first episode of the Pokemon anime, then Ash takes out his Pokedex about Pokemon staying in their Pokeballs. And the second thing that, that it says is, However, there are many exceptions, so po some Pokemon hate being confined. Which applies to Pikachu. So, Hilbert is up, as I was, I was saying. Yeah? We're going to the cafeteria, aren't we? I kind of figured you wouldn't want to come. I require food to live. Didn't think I'd have to tell you that one. You could go alone? I could. But you don't wanna? The parameters I was operating under have changed. No, I want to go to the cafeteria and eat a delicious breakfast with you. You want my life story, or can we leave it at that? Well, I guess let's go then. Good to have you with us, happenstance. Oh my god, Ethan, it's Hilbert. It's, uh, it's Hilbert. Exactly, tell him, Red. Why? What did I say? You said happenstance. His name is Hilbert. Oh, I'm pointing to Brendan's crotch. I just noticed that. Oh my god. Oh, hey, May. Waiting for us long? Nah, good to see you again. I didn't get to see much of you over the weekend. Well, even if Brendan and I were running the same kind of errands, kinds of errands, I wasn't planning on third wheeling the whole time. Speaking of third wheeling, you still haven't met my other roommates besides Serena, have you? Hopefully we'll bump into at least a couple of them today on the way to class. Well, if I see any of them, I'll let you know. Oh, that reminds me, sweetheart. Have you given Red your phone number? See, pet names, they're, they're dating. No doubt about that. Huh? No, I haven't. Good catch. Here, Red. Yes! I love that theme. So, uh, I received Brendan's contact info. The second person to, to, to have contact with. Hey, why don't you give your re Red your contact info, too? That way, if my phone's turned off or whatever, he can still reach me. Huh? Oh, I'm sure, if you're okay with that. No problems here. Yay, I got May's contact, too. Well, I won't be... I actually won't be texting her. I'll be texting Brendan sometimes, but May her contact info will be useless. I I would I don't really need it. Oh, and, and speaking about the female uniform, so in the original, as I was I wanted to say in the original demo, so the skirts were about this length, but but the panty ho the panty hose were about to uh, about up to here, so you could see the skin on their thighs. Those skirts were way too short. 
But now, in this demo, their legs are completely covered. But the skirt is still short, but... You know, that's an improvement over the original demo. Alright, let's head out. I don't know if that's my stomach or Hillenbrand growling, but it's nothing a big plate of eggs won't fix. Alright, let's go have breakfast then. Damn, this is fancy. I suppose such luxuries were a tot out of reach in Pilot Town? Yeah. Nothing like Kalos, I bet. I heard that in Kalos, even the smallest village has a five-star restaurant. You've heard a lot of interesting things about Kalos. Hey, May, look! They've got Basculin Tartare! Oh, Caleb's moving away. He wants his personal space. Yeah, but you're a vegetarian, sweetie. Er, uh, of course. I didn't forget. It's just Basculin Tartare. Swanky. Okay, Brendan, Basculin is a fish, and vegetarians don't eat fish or meat. So, you're a vegetarian, you shouldn't eat basculin. Damn it, where is she? Come on out, you... What's that about? Oh, look who's joining us this morning. Hey, Serena, but Calum, you don't look happy. Wait, wait, don't tell me. You're going to say personal space, right, Calum? I was going to, yes, but now it seems redundant to do so. Hmm, Serena... Caleb talked with her a few times during the weekend, but it seems he's still treating her with obvious forced casualness. I'll add that to my list of things to ask about when we're closer. Morning, Serena. Good morning, Red. Now, don't you look dashing in your new uniform? Oh, is Caleb jealous or something, or... Or did he want to be complimented to? Yes, doesn't he? It fits very well on him, I dare say. Ah, well, it's certainly a new look. Perhaps I've just grown accustomed to seeing you like this. Yes, perhaps. I have a feeling that Serena is interested in Calum. What the hell kinds of mind games are these two playing? Hey, is your dorm mate Hilda, Hilda around? Oh? No, I don't believe so. She said she was looking for someone. Uh-oh! What is it, dude? Every time we talk about someone, they show up, so Hilda probably be here any second. Yeah, Ethan, you're pretty much breaking the fourth wall. Don't be superstitious. It's not that, man. I just don't think we can physically fit any more people here. You're right. I'll grab us a table. I'll go with him and make sure he doesn't start a fight. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to get some grub. Just don't get bashed, Glenn. You're a vegetarian. Well, now that your friends have stepped away for a moment, perhaps we could talk? Yes, we can do that. With Kayla's personal space, look at how f Oh, I'm pointing to Serena's boobs. So, I meant to say, look at how fast Kayla went away from her. Anyway, let's move on. Oof, cold. Exactly, Red. Wait, his friends haven't stepped away? I'm right here. It's about... About the student council. Oh? We've done leadership work before, right, Calum? Having membership in the Kobukan Student Council on our resumes would look really, really good to future employers. Hmm. I'm not aware of the specifics, but I've heard that Kobukan Student Council is extremely hard to get into. Yes, we'd only have a month to campaign. But we've certainly bested greater odds together before. Remember Professor Sycamore's internship and how hard we worked on getting you that? True. I never would have managed to snag that without your Iiki's ceaseless support. In any case, I think we should go for it, since we only have a month to campaign. If we fail, well, there's not a lot of time lost, at least. True, that would be a significant time commitment, far more so if we win, but perhaps it's t something to look into. Well, we kind of have to decide now. It's our third day here. That Sharon guy has already put up posters across half the school, and is giving speeches in the courtyard. Oh, <laughs> look at Serena's pouty face, it's kind of cute. Yes, well, given the policies he espouses, I wouldn't be surprised the school's administration shoots him dead before the weekend. Shoot someone dead, that's pretty harsh. We might want to be a bit less radical to maintain our electability. Yes, a bit. Awkward silence between these two. Well? And again with that pouty face as she asks. I'm unsure. I truly need a bit more time to decide. Can you give me until tomorrow? Okay, but you will answer me tomorrow, right? I swear it. Alright, let's meet up here tomorrow morning and figure this out then. Bye, Caleb. Bye, Red. Oh, now she acknowledges Red. Bye, Serena. Bye, Serena. Oh, she did know I was here. I was starting to wonder. 
So, what's your problem is kind of, it's pretty rude, and we don't want to men mention how she's nice, so we we're concerned about Caleb, so we're going to ask if he's alright. You alright? I'm wrestling with whether or not I should join the student council. I certainly want to, but I'd spend almost every day with her. And it's pretty clear that's what she wants. You don't want that? I'm no longer sure what I want, to be honest. And we gained a relationship po point with Caleb. That's, that's cool. But I appreciate you being my sounding board while I figure it out. Well, enough of that. Shall we go? Yeah, let's go get breakfast with the others. Yeah, breakfast time. Ooh, look at this cute chick. It's Bianca. With those green eyes. And that those glasses. That, that, those, that blonde hair sticking out. She's approaching you. Yeah, got it. Thanks. Thank you, Captain Obvious Calum. Why am I sweating so much? Hey, uh, can I help you? And oh, look at that bust, it's nice. Hi, I'm Bianca. Sharon told me to go find the handsome guy in the red hat. What handsome guy in the red hat? Are you talking about red? Oh, that's nice. Wait, did Sharon did Sharon say red was handsome or are you just saying that? Yeah, I, I figure it's just you, Bianca. Err. Uh, so, of course, I thought that was you, but before that, I thought it was the other guy in the red hat, but he just scowled at me. And then I thought maybe it was the other guy in the red hat, but then he said... He had no idea who Charon was, so now I'm asking you, and I really hope you're the one because I'm really getting flustered talking to all these cute guys with red hats. Wait, why didn't you ask me? Oh, you're cute, really, but I think Charon was looking for a student, not a professor. Seriously? He doesn't even look like a professor, he's wearing the Kobukan Academy uniform. The student uniform. I'm... I'm 18. Anyway, are you Red? Because Charon's impatient, and Red Hat number one is at our table arguing with my doormate Hilda, and... Wait, did you say Hilda? Oh, you know her? Well, I know of her. She's the only thing that scares Hilbert, apparently. Uh, Hilbert is Red Hat number one. Okay. So, are you Red? Oh yeah, does Charon need me now? I was just about to go get some food and sit with my dorm mates. Nope, he just wanted me to give you a message. What, like a muffin don, red sleeps with the, with the fishes? The message is, I'd like to talk with, to you after school, please meet me here. That's it? Yep. Uh, alright then, I'll be at the cafeteria later. Mission accomplished? Man, she has a nice bust. Bye. I can't tell if she, this is just what it's like in the city, or if this... Ugh, excuse me. I can't tell if this is just what it's like in the city, or if there's something about me that just attracts peculiar characters. Maybe I'm the weird one? Yeah, may, maybe you are. Then again, I, I'm pretty weird, so we're alike, Red. Hey, guys! Buddy! What was the holdup? Kalen returned a bit ago. He looks a bit shell-shocked. Yeah, because Bianca thought he was a, pr uh, a professor. Just talking to another student. Hey, didn't you say you were going to stop Hilbert from getting to any fights? What? I thought I did! He was just he, he was here just a moment ago! Well, I happen to know that this Hilda person he's so terrified of has made contact. Guess it makes sense he couldn't hide for more than four days. Dudes, don't want to rush you, but homeroom's pretty soon. Oh shoot, you're right. Guess I better cram the rest of this down before we go. Hey, could you, like, put a piece of toast in your mouth and run to class? Oh my god, that's an anime cliche. No thank you, Ethan. I could, but I don't really... I could, but I don't really see why. I have, I have time to finish it here. Uh, never mind. Thank you, May. Thank you for preventing the cliche. Hey, Calum, will you be okay? I'm 18, not old. My hair is naturally gray. I'm 18, not old. My hair is naturally gray. Right. Well, uh, we gotta go. Make sure you come with us, okay? Huh? It looks kind of a mix of gray and black, if you ask me. Huh? Oh, yes, of course. Just give me a bit. Poor Caleb. Alright, let's go. Last one to homeroom assignments board is a bad egg! Okay, let's get to homeroom. But first, we have to go outside of our halls to get to the academy. Looks pretty nice. Look at all those trees. Especially these right here. I've always liked these kinds of trees, especially pine ones. Wow, this area of the campus is amazing! 
Mm-hmm, lots of trees and flowers and grass. See what it says on the facade there? Kobukan Academy, in unknown letters. The Pokemon unknown, not, not the, the word unknown. Kobukan Academy. Supposedly, this building has been around for nearly a century. It's hard to believe. The condition of this place makes it seem like it was built yesterday. I'm having a difficult time imagining what this is that this is what I'll be looking for each day from now on. Not that I'm complaining. I'm just excited to be here. Same as you guys, right? Where is everyone anyway? They're not here, of course. Huh. Guess I ran a bit too quickly. Eh, whatever. I need to get inside and check the homeroom assignments. Yeah, screw them. Just get in there and check. And we're in this hallway. There's a cluster of students gathered by the by a bulletin board. That must be the homeroom list. There he is. Red Rose R at the bottom in Professor Oak's class. And the, so the professors are also Professor Birch, Professor Sycamore, and Professor Willow. I'm pretty much caught up to caught up to, to the maximum of Gen 6. I've heard of a lowland Gen 7, but I haven't gone that far yet. I haven't played those games yet. Wait, Oak? Professor Oak? Like Old Man Oak? Like my neighbor? Like Blueberry's grandpa? The one and only, what do you think? He teaches here? The faculty page of the website didn't say anything about this. And why is my name in a different font? It looks like someone just sharpened my name in. That's pretty suspicious if you ask me. Well, well, well. Oh, ho, ho, our favorite rival is back. Oh, he's pissed off now. I said, well, well, well! You don't have to scream, I can hear you. I heard you the first time. At least look at me when you're talking to me. But wow, you actually got here before the bell. Still slower than me, but that's natural. In what world have I ever been slower than you? Let's see, in the game's Pokemon, red, blue, yellow, fire red, and leaf green. Blue was always ahead of you in beating gym leaders, and he became the champion before you, so he, therefore, you were slower than him, red. So, which class are you in? Your grandpa's, according to this. You could have told me Old Man Oak was working here. I would have seen if he could pull some strings. Gramps's? Are you serious? Why? I thought I told him to... I can tell you're shocked, but you, then, then you, you're, you're pissed off again. Ah, who cares? Now I have a front row seat to watch you bomb in class. Oh, you're all with Professor Oak? That voice. Oh, hey, uh, you? Yeah, it's that, that snarky girl. Long time no see. Did you get lost on the way here? Hey, give me a break. I thought we were done with that. Didn't say you had a, didn't you say you had fun? Hey, don't get it twisted. I had lots of fun. You know this windbag? No need for the insults, Blue. Uh, excuse me, don't interrupt a girl when she's talking to her friend. We're actually not friends, we're acquaintances, Leaf. Know the difference. Yeah, right. I bet you don't even know his name. Yeah, friends should know each other's names. Obviously, it's... Yep, she doesn't know. And Red doesn't know her name. Huh, I can smell her perfume. Psst, what's her name again? Oh, way too close to com for comfort. It's, a uh, Red Rose. And, uh, I'm a firm believer in personal space. Ah, uh, yeah, Red, we're besties. Always been. No, we just met a few days ago. You're not fooling anybody. Wait, Red? Red! Oh, you're Red! You're friends with May, right? You know May? I would hope so, being her dorm mate and all. Okay, I've met Bianca, Serena, and May. So flipping the coin of probability, your leaf? That's my name! My god, you better cut the crap! Your acting is so bad that it's pissing me off! Give it a rest, Blueberry. I know who Leaf is. I ran into her on her first day here, and she helped me out of a tough spot. We were short. We were both short in time, so we forgot to introduce ourselves. Like I gave a Redditor's ass what happened. Hey, yeah, that that textbook just went away, and I just so did. Did you notice how thick Blue's thighs are, and how fitting those those trousers are? Yeah, nice detail. 
so it, it'd be perfect for, for squeezing Red's head in between his legs in the future. <laughs> Ugh, you two have wasted my time enough today. I've got places to go and things to do. Smell ya later! I'll always love that quote no matter what. Smell ya? What does that even mean? It's Blue, or as I like, th like to call him, Blueberry. He said that for as long as I've known him, and I've known him for a long time. Not that I'm particularly proud about it. So he's been smelling you for a long time? What a creep. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Let's go, Red. We'll be late for our first class. Yeah, smell him. Oh, he's definitely gonna smell him in the future. Smell his cologne and deodorant. Leaf, huh? And Blueberry. And me. In the same room for the next two hours. Every day for the next year. This is going to be fun, isn't it? This is going to be quite the year. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I have a mug of water. What? So, so I'm going to be reading a lot and I'm going to have to drink, eventually. At least I have it prepared this time. May! I can't believe we're in the same homeroom! Yeah, these... There, there are portraits of Pokemon in, in this class. There's Venusaur, Typhlosion, I don't know what that is, I can't... I couldn't see it even, even with, without Leaf in the way. Greninja, Seviper, and Infernape. Very nice. These coincidences are just... Excuse me. These coincidences are just piling up today. Small world! Red, I see you and Lee finally got acquainted. May, do you remember the guy I told you about when we first met? Turns out you know him all along. Oh, Red, since you ran ahead without us after breakfast, now I, can, now I can believe how you got lost on the first day. That's okay, a strong sense of adventure is a good thing. Don't rub it in, May, please. I'll never be able to live this down, will I? A boy stranded in the forbidden territory of a terrible cheer squad, sensing impending doom, he's picked his, he picked his poison and sought refuge in the abyssal bathroom of the fairer sex. Oh, you're going overboard, Leaf, please. Men and women are equal, remember that. It was then a beautiful maiden, a girl he knew nothing about, happened to stumble upon him at the right time, pulling him into the light and guiding him to sanctuary. No need to make this into a fairy tale, Leaf, shut up. Thank you for the epic summary. Well, I'm not thanking her. A curtsy? She's so unbelievably smug. Since you're here, May, I'm assuming Brendan's in another class? Brendan's in class 1A next, next door, in Professor Birch's class, I see. Oh, and your dad's. You should tell your father, Miss Birch, that his recent article regarding the pros and cons of invasive bug Pokemon as biological control has been well received. I'm impressed. Sam! Hello, lad. Great to see you've settled in nicely here. Sam, what's going on? Why am I here? Why are you teaching? Why didn't you tell me that you'd be working at Kobukan? How- Okay, Red, slow down and don't use his first name in front of the other students. Red, there's a time and place for everything, but not now. Yeah, that's what he, that's what Professor Oak says in the main game, such as when, when he, Red tries to ride his bicycle, but it was the wrong time. I swear, he must be a stalker or something. Ugh, I've heard that before. Yeah, Red's breaking the fourth wall too. Also, in front of other students, Professor Oak, if you please. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Sorry, Sam. I mean, Oak, Professor Oak. Anyway, Miss Birch, on the topic of your father? Oh, right. I guess Dad's work in the field's been paying off. For the last couple years, if it's not a swarm of Beedrill chasing him around, it'd be Ariados or the occasional Scyther. Oh, that must really suck. Good thing your father didn't get caught up by the Scyther or poisoned by Ariados. Ah, are you well versed in bug types, May? I assume you've gained a lot of experience while assisting in your f with your father's work. Yeah, I didn't like them at first, but I'm planning on taking the bug type elective. I'd like to go to Unova someday too. I heard they have really powerful bug types there. I see. So what Pokemon types will the three of you be focusing on this year? Well, there's bug, but I'm also planning on taking fire and fighting. Grass, electric, and dragon over here. Solid choices, varied and versatile. And you, lad? I'm, uh, I'm not planning on specializing. I'm just going to take classes that helps the, help the Pokemon I can get my hands on. Oh, he does not look happy. Oh, crap. Did I say the wrong thing? Of course you are. Of course you are. Lad, you never fail to impress me. You're a champion, if I've ever seen one. I personally don't feel like a champion. Uh, 
Thanks, Professor Oak. Does that mean it's the right decision? I couldn't possibly tell you that, Red, but it's the one you've made. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, I would recommend that for now, at least you focus on at least one type. You might find it hard to train up your Pokémon if you spread yourself too thin. Well, excellent choices all around. Now, I hope all of you are ready. The bell will ring soon, so go ahead and find yourself a seat. Okay, what the hell, lad? You're on a first name basis. You're on a first name basis with our homeroom teacher. Excuse me, my my, my throat went crazy. Well, normally I call him Old Man Oak, but I I don't call him that to his face. Exactly, Red. That's rude. We are not done talking about this for now, though. Let's sit together, May. Sorry, Red, but since you'll be hopping around classes like a spoink, I bet we'll have plenty of chances due to bond later. Okay, you have that squiggly line in the text box, and you're making that face. I don't like that. Bonding, yeah. Hopefully we'll, we'll, you'll just stay friends, please. So, what do you think of Leaf Red? Absolutely charming. Heh <laughs> she's a lot of fun to be around. Come sit by us. Well, I sure as hell won't be sitting by Blueberry. Yeah, you don't want to sit next to a bully, do you? Okay, it's Monday morning. It's time for classes to start. Homeroom to start, of course. I still don't know what, what that Pokemon is. I can't see it properly. Good morning, and welcome to your first class at Kobukan Academy. I'll be your teacher for this homeroom. You can call me Oak, but most people simply call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what you say in, in Generations 1 and 2. I mean 3. Oh my god. I think I could skip this part. You are all smart enough to know what Pokemon are. I can't believe we're hearing Professor Oak talk right in front of us. The man's a legend. I know. My dad's a huge fan of his. He's got all his encyclopedias A to Z. Oh man, he's gonna flip when I tell him I'm in his class. Even outside of Kanto, everyone knows him. I didn't know he was look up t looked up to by so many people. He's like a superhero to them. But to me, he's just my neighbor. Now, something you need to know about this class is that it's extremely important for your final grade. Last year, everyone who failed to pass this class also failed to graduate. Holy crap! All of a sudden, I don't feel like being in this class anymore. Ugh, so there's one class I absolutely can't screw up. It's this one. Yes, this class is challenging, but if you put in the work and keep out of your studies, you should pass with flying colors. My job is not to assign you failing grades, but my job is not to cuddle you either. My job is to make sure you graduate the school with the knowledge and skills to excel in the Pokemon world. Which brings me to my next point. As you all know, Kobukan is a very selective school, and it demands you to give your, to give your best at all times, or you will be surpassed by your peers. The graduation rate for this school is fixed by at 80%, it is not for the weak willed or unmotivated. You gotta be kidding me! Is this a joke? What kind of school life is this? I I have a feeling those students won't survive the Kobukan Academy. Sounds like some people didn't read the website, but I didn't pick up a brochure, so I guess we all have our blind spots. Yeah, even me. Those girls are pretty close, but then Red's sitting near them, so yeah. I guess Ethan wasn't the only person I know who didn't know this. Of course, Blue isn't phased at all. I wonder who Ethan's professor is. And I didn't realize at first, but Hilbert's in this class too. He already knew, of course, he isn't surprised. Ahem, yes, I just wanted to clear that up. Now, are any of you interested in competing in the Pokemon League after you graduate, just by a show of hands? A few dozen hands. Blue, Hilbert, Leaf... Oh, I should put my hand up too. Take a good look around. Yeah, the classroom's empty. No, everyone in the two middle sections put your hands down. There are a f there are fewer than ten students left with their hands raised. I think I know where this is going. That's the percentage of those who will actually qualify for the Pokemon League, and it is even less for those who can make it heat there. Now, don't let it discourage you. Let's start with some... Professor Oak staring at something. Or someone. Yes, did you have a question? HA! I'm just gonna say this right now for all of you quitters in this room. I'm getting to the Pokemon League and there's no chance in hell that I'm not! 
God, why does he always have to be like this? It hasn't been 10 minutes since class started and he's already trying to start something. Exactly, he's an attention whore. He tries so hard to be cool and fails so hard at it that's sickening. I'm not stopping until I wipe the floor with every single regional Pokemon League champion. You're looking at the next world champion! Please sit down. Um, what was your name again? Oh, I know where this is going! What? Gramps, it's me! Yes, I know it's you, but what was- It's Blueberry! Oh my god, did you actually just say that? Balls red? Er, uh, that's right. Anyway, sit down. Man, what a load of- Can't believe- Yeah, you can't remember your own grandson's name. Wow, some grandfather you are, Professor Oak. And Blue was embarrassed in front of the whole class. Wow, he's having a bad day. Sit down, Blue. Blueberry's really glaring at you. Yeah, well, when he gets like this, it's best you just grin and give him a thumbs up. That just made him matter. I'm liking this class already. Sit your ass down, Blue. Right then, I think that's enough talking. I'll take roll now while you're all in a good mood. May, is May here? Are you serious? You just saw him before class- I mean her before class started. You should know that May is here. Present. There you are. Hilbert? Here. Okay, now Whitney? Whitney, are you here? Nope! Hmm, absent on the first day- WAIT! There you are. Nice bust also. Huh? Who's that redhead who just came, came rolling in? I guess that's Whitney? Actually, her hair is pink, not red. And now she's posing like she just finished an acrobatic stunt at the Pokeathlon. Here I am! I'm not late! I was just waiting for the perfect time to make my grand entrance! She calmly sits down in the empty in the empty chair in front of me like nothing happened. I have to say, I'm impressed with her ability to keep a straight face after that performance. Please continue. Alright, I'll mark you on time, but no more of that, do you understand? Yes, sir! You can count on me! Very good. Now, Flannery? I'm... here! Look at that, it's Flannery. Sorry, I'm not a big fan of mornings. Fan or not, try and get to class on time from now on. I'll mark you on time too. Man, she's hot. Look at that hair. And that facial expression. Yeah, okay. Oh, she's getting closer. She's kinda intimidating. Reminds me of one of those biker gang chicks that hang out west of Celadon City. But you gotta admit that she's hot, right, Red? Of course she is. She has a nice figure, too. Anyway, now that she's sitting next to me, I've got May to my left, Flannery to my right, Whitney in front of me, and behind me is... It's Dawn! Hello there! Another cute girl. Nice blue hair and blue eyes to, to match. Is this some kind of social experiment? Invite a ridiculously unqualified student to Kobukan but surround them by attractive women so they can't focus at all? Well, it's a good thing whoever was setting this up didn't know I find guys hot, too. Yes! Yes! When I played this demo, oh, oh my god, I freaked out in a good way and I got excited. Oh, yes, Red is bisexual in this game. That, that's a great thing. I, so, if, so if, if he has a chance with the women that, if he has a chance with the female characters, then he probably has a chance to date the male characters, too. Which is not an option right now, but... Maybe that'll be a, that'll be an option in the future as as the game updates. Oh my god, please. I I really want Red to be able to date Blue. Oh my god. Oh, right, Flannery just sat down. Looks like she's staring at me. Does she expect me to say anything? Or maybe her eyes are just glassy from tiredness. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any coffee, so that that seems that that that'll sound like you're teasing her, so let's just be nice to her. Rough morning, huh? Who wants to know? Uh, I just thought that, you know, you kind of look tired. Not anymore, though. How about you mind your own business? I don't remember asking for your opinion on anything. Chill out, Flan. I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it. Yes, thank you. It's the first day. You should keep a- You should keep it a little- uh, Excuse me. You should keep it a little on a DL, girl. What is DL? Psh. Man, Flannery's so attractive. Uh, I, I, can I can feel my pulse racing, let me feel it. Oh, oh, it, it's gone up. 
Yep, it's going up. I can feel my pulse. You'll have to ease up on Flannery. She's a little rougher on the edges in the morning. I understand. Morning isn't exactly my favorite time of day, either. Heh. <laughs> we were almost late because Flan slept through all, her all of her alarm clocks. Did Spongebob break into, your in break into her dorm room and turn it off like he tried to do with Squidward's? They don't work, Whitney. I know how- I don't know how many times I have to tell you! I think it's because your snore is louder than the clocks. I do not snore! <laughs> Man, it would be- if, if she weren't so angry, it, well, if she was in a calmer mode, she'd be great to cuddle with. Oh my god, I can feel my cheeks heating up a little. Hey, what are you smirking at? I don't snore, you hear me? I believe you. So you're Whitney and you're Flannery. I'm Red. Nice to meet you, Red. Yeah, sorry about getting on your case earlier. Don't worry about it. Keep it down back there! Alright, really gotta buckle down and focus now. My pulse is still pounding. The rest of your class passes without incident. It's now time to pick the elective you're going to go to. It's important to remember two things. Taking an elective class raises your proficiency, and your proficiency in a, in a, in a type is equal to the highest level of Pokémon you, you, you own can level up to. Pokémon already above that level cap will not be D-leveled, but they also cannot level up. For that reason, it is advisable to focus on at least one type for a while. It will be, however, a while longer before your Pokémon begin gaining experience for battles. Yeah, so these are the, these are all the 18 class electives of Pokemon that you can choose. So, for instance, if your Pokemon starts at level 5 and you get your elective all the way up to level 6, then in, if your Pokemon gains experience in a battle, then your Pokemon will level up to level 6. So, I want to focus on flying, since I have a flying type in mind that I want. And Kalem is there too. See? You chose flying? Yes, go to flying class. There's the there's a Pokemon I have in mind that I want. In in the next episode, of course. You spot an unfamiliar student and go greet her. Hi there! It's another redhead. Well, red mixed with pink. Hey there, red! Okay, so how'd you do that? Your name's on your bag. All the way over there? You've got good eyes. Really? What? I mean, you must know. No, I know, it's just. I don't think anyone's ever told me that. Normally, I'm the one who tells people I've got good eyes. Well, glad I could save you the trouble. Does that come in handy? Are you, uh, a bird watcher? A sniper? Do I look like a sniper? No, you're too cute to be a sniper. No, so you must be a pretty good one. Don't want to be a sniper who looks like a sniper, right? Oh, yeah. That'd be like a ninja who wears bright orange, right? Yeah, or one of those spandex teens with attitude. What? Who's talking about Pokemon Rangers? I'm not! Yeah, neither am I. Um, anyway, to answer your first question, I'm actually a pilot. What? How old are you? What? You don't ask a girl that! You- well, you, you pretty much don't ask elders that, but you can ask anyone your age that, so it's technically not impolite. Ease up, okay? Oops, sorry! Don't get your panties in a twist, what I'm trying to say. I just... Don't you need to be, like, 25 to get a pilot's license? Not sure what the rules are in Kobukan, but in Unova, when I, where I come from, you only need to be 17, and I was flying solo since I was 16. Hey, that's pretty impressive. How'd you end up doing that? Well, I'm from Miss Stralton City in the west, but there's a town on the east side of the region called Lentimus, and they were, like, really isolated, so... I learned to fly so I could, uh, transport stuff over there, food and medicine and stuff. And she's also the gym- she's also the Mistralton City gym leader, a flying type in Unova. Uh, so you have a- you had a family there or something? Nope, no connection. Well, before I got my pilot's license anyway. So you just learned to fly planes to help out a town on the opposite side of the region that you had no connection to? Yep. That's insane. Yeah, I've heard that a lot, but it worked. Lentimus is now officially connected to Miss Stralton. Since the only other way to Miss Stralton is through Reversal Mountain, my plane is the way to get there. I'm really impressed. I came up to chat, just expecting a casual conversation, but now... Wow. Well, if you thought that was impressive, you should hear what I'll drop on you in our second conversation. Is that an invitation? Think of it more like a threat. Yeah, a threat with a wink. Nice. 
So? Ah, jeez. Sorry. I feel like I've already learned so much about you, I forgot the obvious. What's your name? That'd be Skyla, and it's a pleasure to meet you, Red. Skyla? And you're a pilot? Yeah, I've heard that... I mean... Yeah, I've heard that one before. Forgive me, it was too easy. Forgiven. Talk to you later, okay, Red? Keep your eyes on me! Yeah, your bird watch eyes. From a bird's eye view, of course. Huh? Ethan! Huh. Hey, Red. Good to see you. Crazy we both chose the same first elective, huh? Yeah, kinda wild. This seat taken? Go ahead. Yes! We're in the same class as Ethan, another familiar face. Oh, and our favorite rival. Ugh, he's here then? Guess it makes sense. He always did like his flying types. Yeah, he's gonna sit on the other side of the room away from Red. And here's another one of our doormates. Yo, Calum! Oh, Red and Ethan. Fancy seeing you two here. Better take a seat. The teacher's coming in. Don't mind if I do. Eh, oh, she's she's a she's a pretty one. Look at that hair. That pr lavender hair in the back. It's Winona from Hoenn. Hello, students. Let's get this class started right away. First off, let me formally welcome you to your first flying type class of the school year. I'm sure it'll be a fulfilling experience for us all. Um, let's see. I suppose the next thing would be to introduce ourselves. I am Winona, your instructor for this year. I'd like to make clear that, um, this is my first year teaching. I'll strive to do my best to educate you in a way befitting Kobukan Academy. If, however, I start to veer off course, I trust that you'll give me heads up. <laughs> flying type puns. Or rather, flying puns. Great, we've got a complete newbie for a teacher. Blue, please be respectful. Well, let's begin the lesson now. Let me start off with the basic background of flying type Pokemon. Millions of years ago, when the world was just created, there were water and ground Pokemon. Basic background, huh? Sounds to me like we're digging real deep in there. Huh? Looks like Skyla's on her phone. I guess I can't blame her. This isn't exactly the most exciting way to start off a class. Oh, great anime music. Eep! Ooh, left her phone on in class. Rookie mistake. Oh, oh okay, so... The, the the female uniforms have been updated so that so that they were neckties, but in this in this one it's it's outdated. She's wearing a bow tie. That should be a necktie. Anyway, oh I forgot to mention. Please turn off your cell phones in this class. But if you really really can't bear to part with it, then at least put it in silent mode. R right. I mean, duh. It's common courtesy. See, she's wearing a necktie here. Ah, poor Skyla. Embarrassed in front of the whole class. The nerve of some people, heh. <laughs> heh. Huh? So, I guess you like Pokemon Rangers? Shh, not so loud! Hey, I'm not judging. I think it's cool that you like that show. Wait, really? You don't think it's lame? Skyla, you're a pilot. Everything you do is cool by default. You could be into freaking My Little Ponyta and it would be cool. Oh, I definitely would not be into My Little Ponyta. Wait, are you? Mm. I like cartoons, okay? Adult TV is so depressing. Exactly. I have something in common with Skyla. We both like cartoons. Thank you. Well, I don't watch TV, so I'll take your word for it. And Red isn't judging her for liking cartoons such as Pokemon Rangers. What a gentleman he is. A sweetheart. Hey, would you mind not telling anybody about this? It's kind of embarrassing. Of course, your secret's safe with me. Uh, Red's such a sweetie pie. Thanks! Let me just drink my water before continuing. I have plenty of it. <clears throat> so much text and so much reading. So anyway, and that's when we believe flying Pokemon were born, long after the birth of Arceus. With its power, it is reasonable for- I mean, it is responsible for all the Pokemon we see here today. Do you have any questions so far? Yeah, Calum has one. Yes, your name is? It's Calum, miss. Go ahead, Calum. Isn't Rayquaza the ancestor of flying Pokemon, like how water and ground Pokemon came from Kyogre and Groudon, respectively? Rayquaza created the sky, and all the Pokemon that came with it was a byproduct, right? Ah, that is a common misconception. It's true that the ancient Hoenn legends are the guardians of the natural elements, but they did not take part in creating its inhabitants. 
Pokémon evolved and transformed over countless eons in order to adapt to their environment. Rayquaza may be the first Pokémon we can categorize as a flying type, but like I've mentioned, we can trace even further back to Arceus, the creator. However, while Arceus created Pokémon, the Pokémon themselves will only heed those that rule their domain, much like how you, you all follow your parents' rules directly, not necessarily the rules set by the government. I see. Does that explain it? Yes, with that analogy, it's much easier to understand, thank you. You're welcome. If there are no other questions, I'll continue. And for all those sleeping in the back, this material will be on the future test, so pay attention! Eh, wasn't a strong start, but I think I'll enjoy this class. Although my grandma would flip her lid if she knew Kobukan was teaching Archaeism. Oh, it sucks that you have a grandma like that, Ethan. Poor, poor thing. Poor guy. Phew! That's all the time we have today. Remember to preview the material for our next class. Before you know it, class is over. I, I'm pointing to Ethan's crotch. Oh my god! Classmates' bonds in in increased. Okay, so we so we all got one point each with with our classmates. For each class you take, it, it increases your bonds with the, with your classmates by by one point. So um, let me just I'm as I was trying. Let, let, let me just think straight. So, um, I, I want, when, when I, when I played this game one time, I got my level, I, I got my level up to, up, up with blue up to level four, which is a lot, but also Ethan, since, since we're in the same electives uh, every time, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming to, to level up as much as blue, so our relationship evolves. Your flying proficiency increased to one, your flying type Pokemon can now reach level one. And it's noon time, so it's time for the next class. Gym class, of course. And then I'm, I'm going to end the video after that. So this is the gymnasium. I wonder if this is an official gym sanctioned by the Pokemon League. Most likely not. I didn't read anything about that on the website when I was doing my research. I think it's safe to assume it's just another fancy room in the Academy's collection. Though, other than some old banners lining the walls, this place is barren compared to the others. Old banners, dude. Those are po those are champion pennants. They're only given to winners of at least na national national tournaments. Yeah, but they're just banners. If it was the actual champions hanging up there, then maybe I'd be impressed. Yeah, I'd be impressed too. I took another sip of water. That didn't sound the way I thought it was going to. Yeah, let's just ignore that. Hey, look, there's the rest of the gang! And Hilbert's none too happy, of course, as usual. Well, with all of them together like that, they really make the room seem a lot livelier. Oh, and there's Misty. Hopefully she's feeling a bit better since I last saw her. She doesn't look better, if you ask me. What's her story? Wish I knew. Man, this is a huge class! I can actually recognize a few faces now. Yeah, we saw Sabrina in... Excuse me, I saw Sabrina in the- We saw Sabrina in the auditorium, and we haven't met her yet, so that's Gardenia. Looks like Blueberry's sitting alone, kinda surprising. I thought- I thought he would have tried to surround himself with people by now. You know that guy? Yeah, we have a history. Oh, you dated? Okay, okay, I have a confession! When I- when I played this this demo for the first time, I I, I got really excited when when Ethan asked if, if Red was dating Blue. <laughs> I'm a huge nameless shipper if you haven't if you haven't guessed already. That's what I'm aiming for, nameless shipping in Pokemon Academy life. <laughs> oh my god, my OTP. Ha! No, I still have some di dignity. Trust me, his personality is not worth it, but it will be in the future, won't it? I don't know, I feel like my standards could learn to limbo for that guy. Ethan, please, no, save him for red. Ethan? Huh? So serious all of a sudden. I'm saying this in full seriousness, don't do that to yourself. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, and Ethan, don't you, don't you have to pursue silver or something? Anyway, let's go sit over by the gang, don't want to end up like Mr. Too Cool for friends. Yes, right, settle down. Are these guys our teachers? The guy on the left definitely looks like one. Yeah, he's shirtless. And look at those abs, you'll like that. Well, yeah, never mind. He's a member of the Elite Four. 
but the other guy looks like one of those mountain hermits you hear about on TV. You mean a hobo, of course. Welcome to gym class. I'm Alder, and he's Bruno. We'll be your instructors for this year. Now, I bet you're all wondering what you're, you'll actually be doing in this class. Well, it'll be just like the other gym classes you've probably taken in your other schools. Except we're not going to make you change into shorts and play sports. I mean, change into shorts and play sports. In this school, we focus more on training Pokemon, not your bodies. But training your body is important too, haha! <laughs> Where, where are Alder's hands, anyway? He looks like he doesn't have any. Ahem. Anyway, the reason why the school has a gym class is like, it, it, like this is to prepare you kids for the real Pokemon gyms after you graduate, at least for those interested in tackling the league. Can any of you tell me why gyms exist in the first place? Gyms were created to weed out the skilled trainers from the mediocre trainers. If we didn't have gyms, any trainer could directly attempt to challenge the league, overwhelming its resources. And there's Hilda. Look at that hair, it's chocolate brown. A nice cap. She looks pretty. Or perhaps they are at least... Or perhaps they at least limit the number of people that think they'd make good Pokemon trainers? Not from what I've seen. That's dumb! Gyms are just a pain in the ass! Aren't you a gym leader, Misty? Nuh-uh! Do you even know how much... Do you even know how much bench press equipment costs? You'd need to use that thing for like a decade before it starts paying for itself! I'm talking about Pokemon gyms, you idiot! Right, very good guesses. But the main purpose of a gym is to allow trainers who are less experienced to test their skills against more experienced ones on even footing. And that is what we're going to be doing in this class. Wait, you're telling us we're gonna be Pokemon battling in this class? Precisely. Everyone will at least have... Everyone will have at least one battle a day, though we won't be diving into that right away. First, we need to review the basics. You're also busy trying to learn new things that sometimes you forget the most rudimentary skills. <laughs> Look at Alder winking like that. And Bruno is not impressed, of course, I can tell. What? Are you going to teach us how to catch Pokemon or something? Yes, that's a very important part of the curriculum. Sheesh. Even if some of you think you have everything you need to know about Pokemon battling, trust me when I say you don't. Yeah, everyone's just a beginner. We've been in this field a lot longer than you have, and we, even we still don't have it done perfectly. <laughs> As I expected, Blueberry seems a bit irked by what Alder said, just said. He's always irked, isn't he? I hope he doesn't make a scene like he did in Homeroom. I'd actually love to see him make a scene. Yeah, that's entertaining. Oh, excuse me for rambling on like that. Uh, Bruno, why don't you tell them more about this class? Very well. This gym was first and foremost designed to be a training ground for students, and as such, it is available for free use after class hours. Just bring your student ID and you receive unlimited access to its facilities. In addition to the exercise machines available, the gym also contains several battle simulators to allow students to experience what a live Pokemon match would feel like in real time. Excuse me, simulators? Are you- and- Wait a minute! Are your? That doesn't make any sense. It should be are you, not are your. Grammar error. Are you saying there won't be any live Pokemon matches here? Incorrect. We will hold live matches every class, on your own time. You may also hold battles here, if you wish, but most take place in the battle hall. However, the members of the battle team have priority to use the battle hall. What's the battle team about? Our school has a competitive battling team for students who wish to take their Pokemon training to the next level. It's a very selective club, so I don't, don't think about signing up so quickly. Oh yeah? What does it take to get in there? Impeccable grades, a strong team. Ha! That's easy! I was not finished. You must also have the vote of your fellow teammates, team, team members. Finally, you must bring something to, to the team that no one else does. What? Like being completely undefeated? Be careful of what you say. Arrogance and strength do not go hand in hand. Yeah, like it, like in his uh, in his game counterparts, red, blue, and yellow, fire, red, leaf, green. I, he was so arrogant that he lost to red in the Pokemon League. I'm telling you, it'll be a piece of cake. Who's in charge of the team? I am. Look at that, it's Lance, Johto champion, and also a member of the Elite Four in the Kanto games. H huh? Wait, who is this guy? He looks familiar. Looks like a, he looks like a vampire, if you ask me. Dude, don't you watch any TV? That's Lance. He's the Indigo League champion. Our league, dude. 
Then I guess Blueberry should watch his mouth around him. Exactly. Being accepted to the battle team is one of the highest honors a student can receive in this school. It is not to be taken lightly. Lance, how long have you been standing there? I was just passing by. It's been a while, Bruno. Alder? Ha! Huh, it has indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Students, this is Lance, the advisor of the battle team. Pleased to meet you all. Eh, your face says otherwise, Lance. So these are the new students that just came in? They look quite capable. I expect great things from all of you. When I was a new student at this school, I... Hey! You're the guy running the battle team? Yes, and you should heed the advice of Alder and Bruno. For someone currently at your level, it'd be impossible to get in. What did you say? Here we go. Yes, Blue is gonna make a scene. Time for the entertainment. Just because you're some big shot champion doesn't mean you can look down on me. I am not a big shot champion, nor am I looking down on you. I sim I am simply stating the facts. Anyway, I'm in a hurry. I have business to attend to, and I cannot be late. Alright, it was good seeing you again, Lance. Likewise, take care, Alder. Bruno. Is this guy really just gonna walk out without saying anything else? He has to learn to take it easy one of these days. Yeah, he has to watch his mouth red. You heard him. The battle team is serious business. After all, it wasn't luck that our school has produced the most, the most world champions, Elite Four members, and it holds the record for most wins at the national tournament. You heard right, the top students represent Kobukan Academy and face off against students from other schools during the Pokemon League side season. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool! But I think I'd faint from stage fright if I had to do something like that in front of all those people! Luckily, I don't have stage fright. I was in my I was in my high school's talent show twice for a spirit week, or as they called it, pride week. You do know that you have to get on the team first to even consider doing something like that, right? But anyway, you shouldn't worry about things like that. There are much more important things to take care of, after all. Like graduating on time, <laughs> Hmm, I suppose you can move on to the weight machines. Bruno, would you mind giving the students a little demo? Not at all. After about 30 minutes of watching Bruno go through every machine without breaking a sweat, you realize that maybe you should look look after your body a bit more. And maybe maybe Blue should too. Look how thick his thighs are. You can see it through his trousers. Quite fitting. I mean, th those trousers are fitting for him. Okay, that's enough for one day, students. Next class, we'll talk about the basics of Pokemon battling and how to deal with Pokemon in the wild. It'll be review, but don't under uh, don't underestimate the intricacies of the basics. Right. Well then, so long, students. Enjoy the rest of your day. So long. It looks. It sounds like you're not gonna see them again. You should say, say see you tomorrow. Looks like next turn's schedule is lunch. I gotta handle something at the office, so you head on without me. All right. Okay. So there's some crunching to my to my right. Ash, Cotton, Ball's sis, Cotton Ball's sister Ash, my other cat, is eating in my room. Sure thing, take care. It's afternoon. Which means it's lunchtime, so... Yeah, it's, t it's time to end the video. I'm gonna stop right here, so thank you, my healers, for joining me on this adventure. Feel free to give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't get on my bitter side.